2010 when I lived in Boston. I was I was at school at Berkeley, and uh, I, th I think I saw on Reddit actually it was a post from from Finite Film saying check out our short film. I was an aspiring film composer at the time, and I was like, this is great. These this this film like the production quality is so cool. This is the kind of thing I want to work on. So I cold emailed them, and I just said, hey, like if you need a film composer, I will work for free. <laughs> and Michael got back to me right away and was like, great, cool, sure. Uh, Enemesis was one of the, the 12 short films that Funny Films did, you know, one per month in a, in a year. The series ended up being a neat project for me. Going into it, I had source material to work with for the music. I had themes, I had sounds. I thought I had enough time to get home. What we ended up doing, you know, me and Alex and Michael, is we, we identified key themes within the original movie. We wanted to expand those themes, but still make them recognizable. For anybody who had watched the original prologue, hearing those themes come back would evoke an emotional response. Thanks for picking me up. Sure. You, you would, you connect a certain theme with, you know, Hannah and Adam lying on the floor. Oh, Adam. No, you're not. Not anymore. You hear a theme and you think back to that. So those sort of connections are the things that we really strive to make. So for the title sequence, we had, we had been talking about it a little bit, you know, we, we sort of knew vaguely what we wanted. They had already made the, the visual aspect of it. And so I think I'd tried a couple different things and it was like, eh, maybe keep trying, keep trying. You know, this is one that, that we knew we had to nail because it's going to be in every episode and it's just short and, it's, and it needs to be, you know, recognizable. And I think the word ominous was thrown around, so. We were going over one of the one of the later cues where uh, it's the scene in which Noah's in the hospital bed on the beach. We were going through that cue, and one of the revisions, I had added some piano partway through, and it was going back and forth between two piano chords. And we and we all thought to use that maybe as the title. So so I. I I took those chords, I took the sound, I put it together to, f to match the title sequence and, and we all thought it worked really well. So with Vera's Nightmares specifically, we really wanted to go with like atonal noises. You know, it's there's very little you know, quote unquote music in there. It's, it's, it really is more uh, sound design. <laughs> those ones, those ones were fun because it's, it really was just kind of like playing around. We wanted to make sure that when you're watching these nightmare scenes, you know, you don't really know what to expect. You don't feel comfortable. You don't feel familiar with, with the material. So for the song that uh, comes out of the alarm clock uh, in, in Noah's kitchen every morning, we, we recorded live with, uh, with three performers, Will Herndon, drums, Scott Passerell on, on piano, and then a singer named Erica Yule. So for the first couple episodes, I think, it's just the normal song with the normal lyrics, you know, speaking in English. As the series progresses and, and Noah gets deeper and deeper into this crazy nightmare that he's in, we, we wanted to sort of play around with the song a little bit. So one of the things we did was uh, had Erica just improvise some gibberish lyrics with the same melody. She nailed it and it was awesome. So the final scene with Noah in the series, this cue is called, It Doesn't Have to End. This was a really tough scene for me and you know, for the directors too. We, we went through a lot of different iterations. Originally, I had scored it to be 
It's kind of creepy sounding. Michael and Alex rightly said, it's too creepy, let's try something maybe, maybe a little more positive. And so I took that note way too literally and I made something that was like super positive and they heard it and they're like, too positive. So, so eventually, you know, we, we went through five or six different versions of this cue until finally we landed on the final version, which, which we all agree is, is kind of a, a cool mix that reflected how Noah was feeling. Maybe it doesn't have to end. Just like the music is very mixed in its emotions, he was, his emotions were very mixed. No. Maybe it doesn't. The very final cue of the series, uh, of episode five, where Sean and Hannah meet in the real world and they understand what's going on. This was this cue was a lot of fun for me because you know it, there's only there are only a few spots in the series and, the, and in the short film where Alex and Michael were like, yeah, really go all out, epic, 100%, just go for it. And those are always those are always the best cues, and it was a lot of fun to do. Am I awake?